Good morning and welcome to another exciting breakfast with Unity. Happy April Fools to everyone. Um, we're not doing an April Fools episode. I just wanted to get that out of the way right now. There's going to be no shenanigans on this. Um, not like our good old cooking with uh, cooking with um, hypercard thing that we did a long time ago. I just didn't have anything to prepare for today. That's the honest truth. It's not that I didn't want to prank people. It's just I didn't have anything ready. So um, what we're going to be doing today is probably kind of non-standard and probably not that useful for most people, but it's going to show kind of how to use render targets in a different way, and uh, we'll, we'll be able to play around with it a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to make a character into a particle, and we're going to do it in a way that doesn't cause us to have to re-render the character a whole bunch of times. So, um, so what we're going to do is we've got a new scene here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to create a plane, just something for a character to stand on. I'm going to put it at uh, 0 and 0. And we're going to add in, from the sample assets, we're going to add a third-person AI character into the scene. And we're going to put him at 0, 0, and turn him around so he's facing us. Um, so um, this guy uses nav mesh and stuff. We might throw a nav mesh on there to make him move around a little bit more. Uh, but right now, I just want to get him in scene and rendering. Um, you can see that he animates a little bit. And... Um, and you see that we get this uh, failed to create agent because there's no valid nav mesh because we haven't done any of that stuff. I, I just need a character. I just need something to be rendered. And what we're going to do, we're going to set up a second rendering camera. We're going to create a new camera. And I'm going to call this camera... And what we're going to do is this one, so you can see that everything disappears because this one's rendering after our camera. We're going to instead change it to render to a... Um, render texture. So I'm going to create a render texture, wherever that is, there is render texture, and we're going to call this, um, and I'm going to make it 512 by 512, so 256 by 256 is probably fine too. This will affect how, how good the rendering looks on these particles. So, so now we're going to go into our character cam and we're going to put character in here. And everything should show back up in the scene because now this is no longer rendering to the camera. It's rendering to this texture. And we're going to create a new material. Um, we're just going to create a... Um, material. And we're going to make this... Um, what is it? Um, we're going to go to... And there's so many to choose from because I've got a bunch of stuff on here that I probably shouldn't have in here still in Unity 5. Particles. Let's just try particles. Um, alpha blended. And we're going to put our character onto it. So you'll see that this looks kind of hot. So I'm going to create a um, I'm going to create a particle system real quick, and we're going to give it this material. You can see that it looks very strange, and it's kind of interesting because it sometimes sees its own things in here, and so we, we get this skyline and stuff. So part of this is because the character camera is clearing to the skybox. We want it to just clear to uh, depth only. So now if we go to our particle system, oh, it's not a problem. Um, why is that? I'm going to practice this so we're going to see what actually ends up happening here. So let's uh, make this camera more directly on the character and let's only render the character. So, so this camera is right now just in the floor. We don't want that. We want him, we want to basically encompass this character as best we can. And we're going to make it so that the character is on a different layer. We're going to, oh, it's already on a different layer, no collision. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to, um, actually, where's the actual renderers? Still on no collision as well. All right. Well, we're just going to have character camera look at no collision. So we're just going to culling mask, nothing, no collision. That's all I care about. So now we have just that character being being rendered, and um, and so now if we hit play, I'm curious what happens. Ooh, looks like it's already working. So we have a bunch of the character rendering out. Um, let's um, let's make this particle system a little bit closer to where we want it to be. Um, and let's make the camera, the main camera, a little bit closer to. So let's do like five, two away. 
and then let's make a particle system at uh, 0, 0. So, and let's make these guys move a little bit slower. Start one time, we'll uh, start speed with like one. And we're going to, let's, let's just make them do stupid stuff. Let's go ahead and give them gravity. And let's, um, let's make the start speed now three. And let's go ahead and make it so that these guys will um, collide with. Now we hit play. We have a whole bunch of characters. They all will move along. They, they all have the idle animation this guy does. And uh, and yeah, we have a lot of characters uh, rendering, and we don't have to worry about like rendering him a whole bunch of times. Um, we're, we still have a lot of, like, if, if we were to... Right now we're doing 89Ks, uh, tries. How many is, is actually on him? If I just do that right now. Yeah. So, so normally he's he's adding like eighty thousand uh, uh, polygons, but if we um, if we delete him, um, ooh, what did I do there? That's weird. Just another shoulder. All right, but yeah, so. Um, And actually, we probably want this to clear solid color instead. So let me, let me do that real quick. We want it to actually clear solid color. We want that color to be completely transparent. I think that's what happened before because he moved and basically it was creating an after image. And let's make it so that there's just a lot more of them because why not? We've got we've got the we've got the uh, rendering capability. Let's just make it so that they hundred at a time. And let's make them, um, you know, I don't know. Yeah, let's just do that. I like that. Give me some Z ordering call. Maybe that's too much. Let's not. Let's not go with crazy. Um. Actually, we've got to. See. Oh, they're colliding with him. That's the problem. So let me. Um, let's actually instead of doing world collision, let's uh, let's do the cheaper type of collision. Um, so we're gonna do planes, and we're gonna give it um, one plane. So um, the planes we're gonna just gonna get this plane. There we go. Yay. They bounce from the center, but that's okay. Well, anyway, that's how you turn a character into a particle. Uh, this actually took a little bit less time than I thought it would to set up, but um, but let's go over what's actually happening here because I, I was kind of nonchalant about this. Um, so the character camera is a camera that's turning a player. It is rendering just this view of the character into and actually we should probably make it a little bit higher so it's not coming off his face um, into a texture, and then this texture right here is being applied to the particles, and the particles all have whatever that was rendered. So each frame, it's rendering this character actually twice, because it's rendering once for our uh, main camera and once for our character camera. But then after those two renderings, every other one here is just a picture of the second, second rendering. And so this is a way that you can get a lot more... It looks like you have a lot more things going on when you actually don't. You can use this for tricks like uh, after images for characters. You can use this for um, if you wanted to create like a, a grid of cubes or something and view it from different angles and stuff. This this obviously, um, if we change our main camera angle, it doesn't actually change the angle that he's rendered at, uh, which we can see in the scene view very easily. Um, if, even if I'm looking behind him, he's facing us. Um, we might look into on another episode how to uh, handle that, where we actually rotate this other camera when we rotate our camera around. 
but um, I'm going to leave that for another time. So anyway, I'm going to save the scene. Um, And so thanks for joining us. Um, if you have any questions, please email me, pushypixels at pushypixels.com. You can also tweet me at Drakfire, that's D-R-A-K-F-Y-R-E. And, um, and yeah, if you can, please donate. Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash Cooking with Unity is our main donation thing. So really appreciate it if you could pledge something on, uh, on Patreon. Really would really helps us out. Anyway, you guys have a great one, and I will catch you tomorrow with another Breakfast with Unity and with a new episode of Skate.